woman's viral selfie has sparked a huge peak in Google searches, but it isn't the kind of selfie you would expect. Now, warning, the pictures are a little bit graphic. Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about a selfie that raised a lot of awareness. So when a person says viral selfie to me, I think of Kim Kardashian candid, not grueling images that raise awareness of skin cancer. In 2015, Tawny Willoughby, who goes by Tawny Dizzizik on Facebook, shared images of her face after her skin cancer treatment. At the time, Tawny was 27 and had been diagnosed with skin cancer aged 21. The image is harrowing as it shows a beautiful woman with painful looking red welts on her face. To caption the image, she wrote, If anyone needs a little motivation not to lay in the tanning bed and sun, here you go. This is what skin cancer treatment can look like. Wear sunscreen and get a spray tan. Learn from other people's mistakes. Don't let tanning prevent you from seeing your children grow up. That's my biggest fear now that I have a two year old boy of my own. Some pretty intense motivating words there alongside the images of her face. It was very poignant. The image was so poignant it received 105,000 shares on the social media site and sparked a debate of 17,000 comments. However, the reason we're talking about this now is because a new study of the internet search data actually shows that Tawny selfie sparked 300,000 Google searches of skin cancer. Now, this raised a huge amount of awareness for the issue. I guess sometimes all it takes is a real person with a real story to scare people into taking better care of themselves. Tawny said that her skin cancer came from excessive use of sunbeds. She said that she would lay up to four times a week, but she did stipulate that she would never lay more than once a day. She said that the bulk of her tanning came in high school. She revealed that she had basal cell carcinoma five times and she visits the dermatologist every six to 12 months. She warned people to check on anything suspicious such as moles or new skin spots. Now Tawny is 30 and much healthier and thanks to her, a lot more people are now in the know about what causes skin cancer and how to spot it in its early stages. Okay, before I go, I'm just gonna respond to a few comments from a video I did yesterday about the Dear David ghost development, which is freaky. Oscar Chapman wrote, It's very fake, please, I hope. I'm not gonna sleep for years. I'm gonna go hide in my safe place with a potato. By the way, loving IO's videos keep up the good work. Thanks, Oscar. I really hope it's fake too, because if it's not, like, what the actual heck is happening in this world? Creepier still, E Girl Sunshine said, For some reason, when I saw the drawn picture of Dear David, I thought he looked familiar, but I've never seen it before. <sighs> Yep, I feel like a lot of people are feeling that way. The Bear Gamer YT also said, I've seen that boy. Yikes, not a good sign, guys. Let's hope he doesn't appear to us in our dreams. Stay away, David. You're not welcome here. So that was one real life horror story with a positive ending and comments from a possibly fake horror story that is as of yet still unfolding. Do let me know what you think to this story in the comments section down below. But for now, I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of IO. Make sure you give this video a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more daily news. If you want to keep on being overloaded with information, why not check out our video about a terminally ill child's trip to see Santa and our story on the Keaton Jones bullying saga. See you next time.